G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today with a review of the Otso Wahila C, where C stands for carbon. And this is a bike that Otso believe is a no nonsense gravel killer. So if you're a regular visitor to the Gravel Cyclist website or YouTube channel, you'll already have seen my unboxing and features video of the Wahila C. For those who haven't seen that video, I'll quickly run through the features of the Otso Wahila C. Otso, the sister brand to Wolf Tooth Components, designed this bike with serious tire clearance in mind. It can run 29 by up to 2.1 for single track, 650B by 53mm for seriously gnarly gravel, and 700C by 28 for those who want to take their gravel bike out with some roadie slick tires. That's how versatile this bike promises to be. All of this versatility comes from the tuning chip system that resides at the rear end of the bike and you can lengthen or shorten the wheelbase up to 20 millimeters in three different positions. I need to say really quickly these are not the stock wheels and tires that come on this build but more on that later. The bike features aggressive geometry. This is the size small with a 546 millimeter top tube. Check out the length of that head tube at just 94 millimeters long. The frame is constructed from Otso's EPS molded carbon that promises a lightweight, uniform carbon layup, but without compromises. There are three bottle cage mounts, fender and rack mounts, and a top tube mount for a handy fuel tank type bag. Otso points out this bike is not a drop bar mountain bike. It is a gravel bike specifically designed to clear 29er by 2.1 tires. To help with the ride quality and comfort, they bow the stays and keep the bike looking clean with internalized brake and shifter routing with sleeves and a carbon access door beneath the bottom bracket for easy access. DI2 and ETAP is supported. The Wahila C also supports an internal dropper post of the 30.9mm size. Naturally, the bike features through axles front and rear, but Otso has gone with the 15mm size on the lithic full carbon fork and should be the standard, in my opinion, for gravel bikes. You can run any wheel set with this axle size and the appropriate set of end caps for your front hub or an adapter. Hydraulic brake calipers are flat mounted front and rear and of the 160mm size on this review sample. Also offer a ton of different builds for the Wahila C and this is the Shimano 105 build for 2x drivetrains. If you missed it, nowadays Shimano 105 is 11 speed with hydraulic disc brakes. The negative to this build is no fault of Otso's, but the 50 tooth chainring is far too big, but it could be substituted. The 34 tooth chainring is good for moderately steep climbs, especially paired to the 11 to 32 cassette, but you might want to consider a 4630 double chainring setup. Also keep the Q factor low on this bike at 146 millimeters with a Shimano 105 11 speed crank set. Another highlight of this frame is the English thread bottom bracket and a selection of parts by Wolf Tooth and their in-house brand Lithic. Those items cover the headset, stem, seat post and handlebar. This is the stock wheel set by DT Swiss, the 1800 model, and it comes paired with Terrain Elwood Light 700C by 40mm tubeless tyres. Fitted with those items, the Wahila C weighs approximately 20.6 pounds, set up in tubeless configuration. I wanted to see how this bike rode with really big tyres. I substituted the stock wheels for some Boyd carbon wheels I had, along with the Panarese Gravel King SK tyres in the Gigundo size of 700C by 50 millimetres. As you can see, there is a ton of clearance front and rear. With this much rubber on the wheels, the Wahila C isn't as responsive as it could be out of the saddle, but it is so much fun to ride regardless. These big tires just soak up the bumps at the right pressure, but more than that, the frame is super comfortable, especially when the tuning chip is set to its farthest point back. One thing I need to mention about the chip is it adjusts its angle over three different positions so as not to affect the bottom bracket height. I simply ran out of time to run a wheel set shot with narrower 28mm roadie tyres, but with the stock 700C by 40mm Terrain Elwoods, this bike could fall under the category of gravel crusher. 
I didn't adjust the tuning chip from the rear position, but regardless, this bike is extremely responsive with a tyre suited to gravel. Try all I may, the bike is rock solid in and out of the saddle and still remains very comfortable even with narrower tyres. To me, one of the biggest draw cards for the Wahila C is its tyre clearance, racy geometry and flexibility. Finally, I didn't test this, but the Wahila C is suspension corrected for forks such as the Lauf Grit and Fox AX. I can only imagine some of the fun you could have bombing some of North Carolina's and West Virginia's gnarly gravel descents. Honestly, the Otto Wahila C is the most underrated bike on the market today. Most everybody who spotted me riding this bike wondered what brand it was or what Otto was all about, and it didn't click until I mentioned that Otto is a subsidiary of Wolf Tooth Components. So if you're looking for one bike to do everything from gravel to fun on single track trails and bike packing, the Otto Wahila C could be the bike for you. If this was my personal bike, I'd rebuild it with an electronic group set and have at least two pairs of wheels with different tires set up, ready to roll. I realize there's a ton of gravel bikes on the market these days, but I hope this review went some ways to helping you make an informed decision. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.